What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and wow it has been a while since I uploaded a video um, but I am back guys I am definitely going to be uh, getting way more consistent now um, for the past week or so I just uh, haven't been feeling the best and I've been really busy as well um, but yeah uh, my next video will probably be on Wednesday that will be my uh, Flash Season 8 Episode 1 review and breakdown um, I will probably not be able to get that out tomorrow as I have some stuff going on but um, from Wednesday on, I should be back to uploading every day or every other day at least. Um, but yeah, it should be a lot more consistent from here on out. But yeah, guys, I really wanted to make this video today because what we're about to go over I thought was extremely interesting. Um, so this uh, it's just one question from an interview that recently happened with uh, the Flash's showrunner Eric Wallace. Um, I'll put the link to the interview in the description if you guys want to go read the entire thing. There's a lot more uh, Flash Season 8 information in there. But the question I want to go over says, At the end of last season, fans were pretty surprised to see Eobard Thawne, aka Reverse Flash, return to help Barry take down all the Godspeeds. So will he be more of a presence this season to build up, build up to a showdown with Barry? And what might be different about his motivation this time besides his typical absolute hatred of Barry? So what Eric Wallace responds to uh, for this question, I thought was actually pretty interesting. So first of all, he just says, well, that's a huge spoiler. I can't reveal that. But then he goes on to say, let me say that we all know a final confrontation between the Flash and the Reverse Flash has been brewing since season one. We're going to get a little closer down that road because if you recall, at the end of last season, the Flash got faster and did not make Eobard very happy at all. The question is, what's Eobard going to do? about it right and how does that fit in with the sparrows agenda and yeah that was basically the all like basically all that he had to answer for that um but this i thought was just very very interesting so first of all uh reverse flash you know uh realizing that barry was so much faster than he was um apparently that's going to go into the armageddon storyline that's something with that is going to be in the armageddon storyline so maybe uh reverse flash ends up time traveling or whatnot to recruit damian dark maybe um that's like a way of him getting faster is using damian dark for help somehow i'm not exactly exactly sure how that might work but I think uh, you know the Damien Dark and Reverse Flash stuff should be pretty cool to see. But Eric Walls also did say that we're getting close um, to you know starting that road of the final confrontation between the Flash and the Reverse Flash. Um, and I think this is just going to be awesome to see. I'm really glad that Eric Wallace is actually going to end up doing this. Um, but one other thing that I think he should do is something that I've wanted him to do for a long time. And that is bring back Matt Letcher to play the Reverse Flash. I've said this in a previous video, um, but Tom Cavanaugh in the Reverse Flash suit, he's a good Reverse Flash. It just doesn't make any sense that he is playing Reverse Flash. It should be Matt Letcher. It should have, it should have been Matt Letcher since season one. But yeah, I think if they're going to end up doing like a final battle between the Flash and Reverse Flash or like a Reverse Flash origin sometime during the show, um, they definitely have to bring back Matt Letcher to play uh, Eobard Thawne. But yeah, guys, this is just a quick little video to, you know, tell you guys that I'm back. Uh, and, of course, to go over this awesome new information about the Flash and Reverse Flash and, you know, how that uh, how their rivalry might progress over the season uh, or over the show as well. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited to see uh, uh, The Flash uh, Season 8 Episode 1 is tomorrow, guys. Make sure you guys watch it. It's going to be a great episode. That's at least what I think from, you know, what we've seen so far. Uh, I also know there's been a lot more information about Armageddon uh, in the past week that I haven't been around to uh, make a video about. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, what, we've, uh, what we've gotten so far, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good crossover. And so far, it's looking like The Flash Season 8 is going to be good as well. Um, guys, we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. We are almost there. Uh, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.